What's up, everybody? Rick Denham here back at the shop, and we're talking spinners for steelhead. Honestly, this has become a growing technique for me that is now second in my arsenal and always is on a rod. There's a reason for that. You can see at the beginning of this video, we got some really great fish recently on these spinners, but there's a reason having these around can really help up your game and provide more bites for you. That is because spinners bring out an aggressive strike. Just like salmon, steelhead love hardware. And I think this is a great bait you can use as a follow-up. If you like fishing floating jigs or floating bees, maybe worms, some other technique to start with, a spinner can come through and be that cleanup item. I really have had a lot of success doing that and waking up fish that I couldn't necessarily get to bite with the other gear. So I want to bring this to light because I don't see it used as much as it should. So diving right into this, guys, you have a set of spinners here on our left that are unique and different from the spinners on the right. These on the left are Wicked Lures. You may not be familiar with them, but they're an unweighted spinner, right? They come just like you see here. Leader, hook, hoochie, specialized blade. They're awesome. But they don't have a weight attached just like these do. You attach the weight up the line, and it acts very different in the water. You can swing it. You can cast it. It just gives a lot more freedom of movement to that spinner, and I really think it looks more natural. So I've had a lot of success with these Wicked Lures in the last 10 years, and truly has become my one-two punch. I have something always rigged on a rod for me. Super versatile, you can use them for a lot of different situations, and there's a ton of great colors. When you start looking at the second set over here, these are the weighted spinners, where it's built into the system of the spinner itself. Whether it's a torpedo body, like you see here, very common. There's a lot of other great brands out there. I make these myself, so nothing too fancy, but they definitely are effective, right? A silver plated blade gives you a lot of flash, standard colors. I love, and we'll touch base on that in a second, but these colors you see in front of you here are something that covers a lot of range of water column and different color conditions. This is a standard blue fox. Many are very familiar with that. Adding a little worm tail gives it some great action. But those weighted spinners in particular give you different conditions you can fish a little differently than those wickets, right? I may be throwing those torpedo bodied spinners where I'm intricately trying to hit pocket water in maybe rapids, and I only have three feet to fish it. And so having that weighted spinner right there, I can cast pretty accurately, fish that run effective. With those torpedoes get down a little bit deeper the blue fox fish a little bit shallower so those might be better suited for a little bit slower runs just a different look so there's nothing wrong with fishing any of these here that you see they just have different applications now when you start talking colors i really think with winter steelhead in particular that we're going through right now blues purples pinks chartreuses reds and blacks something you can't keep out are those darker colors because truly that covers a variety of water conditions that you may encounter throughout the year a lot of the times winter means high water dirtier water potentially so having something that's got bigger blades bright flash to draw those attention to those fish will really help you so that's why i've really taken the time and effort into uh, my own arsenal of fishing these things more because it's paid off they come back i might be fishing a floating jig through a run not seeing anything being caught i switch over to my backup rod with a spinner and i hit a fish so it, it can really make a difference for you and why i want you to consider it as well i mean frankly you go into a tackle store and there's a hundred different colors out there different manufacturers different sizes different things that can be used you just want to find something you're confident in. And I really think that's the key to success is making the effort to fish spinners more if you want to and bring about the success that way. Frankly, there's a couple techniques you can use. You can swing spinners through a run. And that's, I think, where a wicked lure excels is because it brings that natural swing through it. However, you can also cast spinners upstream of you and reel down right in front of a fish's face. 
gives a different look. Not many do it that way. Um, you can also, you know, cast cross current and reel it as quickly as you can. Slow reel it, bounce it on the bottom. There are different ways to go about it. But truly, fishing spinners for steelhead is a blast. You get some of the best strikes you'll have because how aggressive they are. And it's just a hoot. I mean, summer runs obviously are very different in their metabolisms. So they're a little bit hotter of a fish. They like active, bright, flashy lures, and they're really aggressive. These spinners can bring that out in a winter run as well. So I'm always having that around, and I really think you guys should as well. So thanks so much. If you guys want to check out our latest video on floating jigs for steelhead, see it right here.